promised that I'd put some on dinner. So that's them in office. Never stop talking, honestly. It's 25 past five. He's making a cup of tea, look. Look at him. He never stops. This is him. I'm, I ain't had my dinner yet. That's where I'll have to stay. That's our bearer's room. So come on, YouTube. They've all been missing there. Have you all missed me? Haven't we missed him, everybody? Yes. Yeah. So, David, what are they putting kettle on for? It's 25 past five. Uh, four. Four. I haven't put it on. I've just filled it ready for morning. You know what it's like? He fills kettle up for tomorrow. Tonight. Does that make sense? Because it just don't make sense to me at all. It does. It makes sense to you, Dave, doesn't it? It, it? it does, because I always think, what happens if they've turned water off in the morning when I get here? And I'm on Hang night. on, hang on. We've been in this building for four years. We've never once had water turned off. No, but... So, do you, when you go home tonight, before you go to bed, we linda. Oh, it's dawn, isn't it, in it's flat? It's dawn's night, yeah. It's dawn's night tonight. When are you get in bed tonight, are you going to fill the kettle up before you go to bed? I do, yeah. I bet that does not all. I do, yeah. This bloke is absolutely mentally ill. I swear to God, he is it, mentally it, ill. The water goes off in the morning. Oh, it, and I'm only one sat there, wake up a tea. You'll not, you'll not be laughing then, will you? No, because I'll come down here and get that kettle. No, we ain't. I'll hide it. I've been here for four years in this uh, building. You don't normally come in here, do you? This is where our FD service is, this is it. So they're all lockers for old lads, they all have a locker, see they? All lads have their own locker and their own little keys. They don't use them very often though. Uh, bandit here, so they ain't corner for them to have a play on. Every undertaker should have a bandit, shouldn't they? Let's be right about it. Every funeral home should have its own bandit. Uniforms all hung up today. Your ass. T L W B G B D E. All, all got the initials on. That's because they that think they, they forget who they are and what the clothes are. I think that's what that is. I'm only kidding, lads, if you're watching me. Let me turn that round there so I can see his lordship. So, uh, what am I going to say? I forgot what Aldi I tonight. Oh, he's going to Aldi tonight. If anybody's in Aldi at Killer Marsh, pop in and see Dave and Dawn. Yeah. Uh, we have an extractor fan on in here for them as well because see, this is, oh, there I am in the mirror. This is a, a extractor fan for lads. So that either sucks air in or we can turn it down a bit. We can suck air out and all, can't we, Dave? How do we suck air out with it now? So we can suck in. I don't know how it works, this mean. But we can turn it up so they can have it on right low, look. Or I. Think of everything, don't we? Do you know what I mean? Because you want fresh air in, so we have door open and it like pulls air around. So, kind of Dave you had, Dave? A busy one. Again, <laughs> it, has busy been, it has been busy. A busy one. Yeah, he's, he's always busy, as you all know. Uh, time to have your dinner. Today, I, yeah. think it, I don't know, about 20 past one, I think. Taking some I'm chocolate cake today. home as well, aren't we? Oh, yeah. I'm glad you reminded me of that. Otherwise, I'd have probably forgot. I know Cheryl's got it. Old. She's, my wife's baked some all chocolate cake. So Dave's taking his home. This is some else we have, and uh, I, I presume all funeral directors have them. So this is a map of Upcliffe Wood. Crematorium, and obviously E, F, A, A, where all plots are. So that's the Upcliffe Wood one. This one's City Road. This is a map of City Road for lads, so they can check. So... Crematorium is here, building, and at the moment we're on W6, which is, as you're driving through entrance, turn right, if we're not grades W6, 
and we drive right down to the very bottom and that's W6. So that's a map of City Road Cemetery for us. So as you go into City Road where offices are here, your first section's A1, then it's A, then right on corner section where you turn to go up, it's B. Facing that is C2, facing A is C4. That's how we know where all plots are in the cemetery. Little bit of useless information. I presume all funeral directors have them. We have a big map upstairs that's got everything on. Well, each individual grave, it's, it's about six foot, that map. It's a huge one. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, let me just show you what he's got under his arm. Snap box today. Yeah, empty. I've had my dinner today. That is dinner. What time did you have your dinner, did you say? About 20 past one, I think, something like that. 20 past one? Mm, all right. Not too bad then, on time. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't got a set time. No, he has it, he has it when he, he has yeah, it, basically. I have to get it when I can. Uh, right. So, I'll turn the light off in here. Yeah. Is everything all right in the garage? Everything's all right. I'll just show you. Everything's all right in the garage. Yeah. Here we go. And I'll see you all at some point. Hang on, are they going? Yeah. So, just for funeral director up at other end of Sheffield who slates me on Facebook with Julie's wife, this is what you should aspire to. A fleet, a brand new ambulance, a brand new fleet, a huge garage. This is how the funeral director should look. The big sign at back, Think Identification, it's everywhere that sign, because that's so important, Think Identification. Right, after you, oh, Mr. Emmingham. Thank you. We'll walk up behind him. Not a pretty yeah. sight, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I'm not filming my ass. This is, you do this before you go up, see, pump that. You're not allowed to knock on, uh, to come up without doing that. This is me sign, knock. Ah, see, stop. Have you sanitised your hands? Because this is a, a clean area. Although it's that's my wife. Hey, up, babe. Hello. Oh, this is my dog. And that's my chocolate cake. And that's look at this. How she's wrapped it him up. <laughs> Hang on, let me put this light on. Look at that. So, lads have all had a piece of chocolate cake that my amazing, beautiful, wonderful... Not all lads have had one. No, they haven't all took it today, but they've all got some. <laughs> wife has made. So that's her little kitchen in here for her and Paula. Uh, Yorkshire tea, see that? That's how much Yorkshire tea we go through. There's I'll a box there. Morning. Right, hang on, I'm coming. So our Dave's going home now, I'm going to miss him. Yeah. What time is it? 20 to 5, it's 10 minutes off, we are. I know, that's where you are, keeping me. Keeping him talking. Keeping talking. So it's a uh, good night from Team Fog. 20 to 5 and they're all leaving us. Yeah. Uh, me and Cheryl will be staying here tonight. We're not on farm, we're staying here, aren't we, mate? You are, yeah. Yeah, until Thursday and then we're off. Yeah, you've got to look after them eggs. Go look after them eggs. I'm on uh, breaking patrol to make sure Easter eggs don't go missing. Otherwise, all kids will be in and take them. Right, go on then. Get this in off right. and I'll lock the door. Right. That's our Dave going. Yep. It's That's a his good, car. Good night from me. And it's good night from him. Have a good night, kid. Have a good night. Stay safe. Aldi. 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 How lovely and peaceful is that? See? Perfect. So, that's it. <clears throat> Fire alarm. So we lift that up and press that in. 13,000 quid that cost me. And it don't work. This sensor's all over the place. A company called Ollins End Fire put it me in. It's all over the place, look. Uh, there. These sensors, and they talk. It actually tells you, fire. Fire, please evacuate the building. They're in every room. There's about 30 odd sensors. Don't work. Crazy. 
So all in Zen fire at Intec. You need to get your arse into gear and get this sorted. Because it weren't even in a year before it developed a fault. And they never bothered with it. One at sensors had got wet. Uh, we have security cameras, obviously. So, security cameras are all monitored, but, and they're all outside as well. These cameras all over the place. And then in through chapels, these cameras here. Hang on, up there, camera. In chapels, and I know there is funeral directors that have cameras in chapels, but we don't. I think it's disgusting. We don't even have cameras in where lads are. We don't have cameras in toilets, unlike a funeral director I know, but I'll not mention. So, that's it. Just a quick one, just to say, uh, how long have we been on? 11 minutes and 20 seconds. Just a quick one to say that we're going. That's it, we're finished. And this is our reception. And that's where, what we see. These are just thank you cards that we've got. And that's it. So what's happening now? That's it, that's us done. Phones will still come through to us tonight because me and my wife will still be taking all phone calls should families need us. Robert, the commercial pilot, thanks for your call today. I'm sorry I miss you. We are family doing an arrangement. Uh, I can't believe people in India and that watch me. It's just crazy. Have a good night, Robert, in your hotel. Uh, and thanks for taking time out to give me a call. I'm so, so sorry that I miss you. To lady on channel who says you're lying you don't answer all questions or you don't answer everybody well i answered you i, I don't always see everybody's comments because it comes through and like sometimes i don't see them but i've answered you and i'll keep answering you uh, i'll answer as many questions as i can but obviously i've got other things that i do as well uh that's me done for night. I'll upload this. It's about quarter to five, something like that. I'll just show you something now. I love this. Let me show you, mate. I love it, honestly. So there used to be a, a steel works called Firth Browns in Sheffield. And this is the clocking ink clock from Firth Browns. I love it. I absolutely love it. We looked after the gentleman, uh, and I've got his picture, who restored this, and his daughters, and he actually put that screw in there, what the key sits on. How lovely is that? Now, when the lads, we use this, I know a lot of film directors has got clocking in machines, modern ones, but use this see it's on it's on in now and then when they go in home they go to out and then they put the card in there and they press it down and it records them you don't see them today clocking in machines do you we have got there all the clocking in stuff there clocking in sheets we have got a modern one but it's even switched off at plug just to prove to you it, it might spin round when I turn power onto it. Watch. That's the other clocking in machine that we have. I don't like it, it's too modern for us. God knows what it's doing. Turn it off again. Done. I prefer this one. Where lads get the card, put it in there, press this down. And listen to the bell. How brilliant is that? So, they're all the arrangements that I've got down there. And that's it. 
sorted. 2012 people have pressed that subscribe button and that's brilliant absolutely amazing uh, bloody fantastic so thank you for each and every one of them people who have subscribed to our channel on social media uh, absolutely stunning can't believe it I'm glad you like what we post and I'm glad that we're entertaining for you uh, I'll upload this now because I'm going upstairs because we live above here in week uh, only for three nights the rest of the time we're up on farm so that's it I'd like to say good night to everybody and have a safe night enjoy your time with your families because that's something that is so important and so special because uh, when you ain't got that, you ain't got out really. Uh, right, I better go. We'll see what Cheryl's doing and Sid. Uh, people have said don't, don't go out at funeral industry, Mick. Uh, just because of this, what's happened in all. So people have said, don't go out at funeral industry. Why are you thinking of selling up? Because uh, it's built on trust. It's an industry that's built on trust. And when trust's gone from public, there's no left. That funeral director in all, who they could make an horror film about that place. I never thought I'd be able to say they could make an horror film about a funeral home. And it sickens me to even think it. Uh, it's like you read a novel and it's something that's in a novel, isn't it? It's just so wrong. Uh, that light, as I said earlier, has probably gone, well, it's gone out for me. Uh, I'm still passionate about it, but things anyway have a good night everybody uh, I'll go and watch what's that now that program we usually watch Cheryl watches it very good there's like loads of contestants and the chase that's it <clears throat> I'll go and watch a bit of the chase I never get out right I'm useless honestly I'm thick as they come have a brilliant day everybody and uh, take care I'll put this on tonight and then I'll upload some again tomorrow. Keep uploading. If you keep subscribing, keep commenting, I'll keep uploading. Have a good night. Stay safe. And one last look. Uh, our funeral home should actually be. That's what I think. It should be warm and inviting and welcoming. There should be Easter eggs for local community, for kids. Funeral directors, it's a passion and it's something that that chooses us, we don't choose that. Take care everyone.